Good morning, Floss Tube. This is Kimberly Ann, and I am back with video number 12. This is my channel that I talk about all my cross stitching and um, a little bit of light stuff. And every once in a while, I'll throw in one of my other crafts. If you're new here, thank you for joining me, and I hope you'll like what you see. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for returning and spending more time with me. I enjoy having you. Um, if you do like what you see and you're new, hit the subscribe button below so you can keep getting future updates. Um, I try to post weekly. Every once in a while it ends up being like more like a week and a half, but generally it's every week. Um, I have since the beginning I started filming on Fridays. Um, I have found it's easier for me to film around Monday or Tuesday, so that's what I'm doing now. Uh, so you can look for my new videos at the beginning of the week. Um, so hopefully everybody had a great Mother's Day weekend. I uh, hope you had good weather, some good food. It got to at least video visit with people. Um, we were able to do a barbecue uh, and just hung out with family. Um, nothing big. Um, just the people that we've been around since quarantine started. So nobody new was brought in. Um, so yeah, we had just a whole bunch of laughs, a bunch of good food, I ate too much. It is what it is. It was good. I'll work it out this week. Um, nothing much else happened uh, since last week. I've been pretty busy. Um, I got a little bit of stitching done. I got some FFOs done for a change. I even worked on some that was in my stack. Um, and Saturday was spent either in the bed or in the chair. I had another one of my dizzy days, as I call them. Um, not feeling well, feeling kind of disoriented. Uh, but yesterday I felt fine, so I was able to be outside in the sun all day. We had a lot of fun. Um, I don't have a lot of haul this week. I have five FFOs. Um, and then I have a few projects. I did not work on a lot of projects, but I did have a few. Um, and I have a finish. I don't have, I think I have two finishes. So let's get started with my whips first. Now I am the world's worst about having everything prepared because I try to do this while my granddaughter is being quiet. So I have to take them out of the bag as I go. This one is Mary Mary Needleworker. I'm not Mary Mary Needleworker. Good Lord. Uh, Miss Mary Mac have Mary Mary need a worker in my head because I need to work on her today. I've not put any work in her in a week. So when you saw her last, I had all of this done, the heart, and I think with silver. So I started on buttons, but I didn't get much done. That's what I was trying to work on Saturday, and it wasn't going. All right, let me get that one put up. And this is a really cute pattern. I showed it to my oldest granddaughter. I told her it reminds me of her when she has a bad hair day. And she thought that was the funniest thing ever. So I think that's going to end up being hers. And let's see. I don't know where the chart is for this one. But this was my new start. I think day eight. Uh... So I got a good bit of the house, the window, and the fence. It is um, Home is Our Safe Haven by Little Stitch Girl. Uh, Jordan, I think her name is. I don't know what I did with my chart. I have to actually print it again because I can't find it. I don't know if Aubrey got a hold of it or what, but I can't find it. Oh, and I need to take this out of the hoop to show you my finish because they're on the same cloth. Let me see. Aha, I don't have to take it all the way out. So this is my finish. This is Be Well Crystal. I did not use the, um, there we go. I did not use the called for colors. Uh, I went kind of close, but I didn't like the colors the words were in, so I changed that. I used a kind of variegated DMC for part of the flowers. Um, and then this I changed to blue, and, like.
like an icy blue color instead of the kind of dark purpley blue they had. But I like the way that's turning out. What am I doing? Um, I have enough room on this fabric. This fabric is by um, Derek and Christian at Fortnite Fabrics. I'm sorry, y'all. I dropped everything. Um, but I think I have enough room on there to do two more medium sized ones and a small one. So I'm just going to keep working on it like that. And then the last thing I worked on, which I worked on this one for a while, was my Halloween Quaker. Can you see that? So when you seen it last, I just had, had the broom and the moon and a little bit of the feet and this lace. So I did the whole witch, this motif, this whole motif, this one, and I started on this half motif at the top. This one's coming along nicely. I want to keep working on it, but I have to work on Mary Mary Needleworker since I haven't put any work in her in like a week and a half. So that's going to be what I'm going to focus on the next couple of days. Um, and I'm going to keep working on my Home is, my, uh, Home is Our Safe Haven. I'm going to keep working on that one. And I'm going to keep working on um, Miss Mary Mac this week. And I'm going to try to squeeze in some stitches on... Uh, Angel Pavement, and then I will have a new start uh, probably tomorrow or Monday. My new start days got all screwed up, so I'm just starting them when I can start them. Um, so next, let's go to my FFOs. They're nothing fancy. I have my... Mm, PC Chicken Love, I think it's called PC Chicken Love by Priscilla and Chelsea of Stitching with the Housewives. I just finished it in a little pillow with some cute little fabric that Aubrey picked out. It has birds and these wispy little flowers on it. That'll go into my tiny bowl that's right there. I have this. This is by Keen Stitch. It's part of a, a really large project I was working on. I just took the middle out of it and made a cute little pillow. This is going to my sister. And I just put this cute little arrow fabric on the back. And then it's just a simple little design. It's the center of the big pattern. So I just made a pillow out of it. And then this is my Lindy Stitches Peter's Day Out. This is going in Aubrey's room. She picked it out. She said she wants this for her room. So she picked out what she wanted to use for the strap which is actually bias tape and I forgot to stitch it closed but it'll work but I gave her my scrap bucket and told her to pick something out to decorate it so she wanted this for the strap and the pink rick rack for the decoration and she picked out a pink button and then I used the same fabric that she picked out for the back of this one and then I'll just hang that up somewhere in her room her mama can decide where it goes And then I have my plant sampler, um, the Homely House Plants by Stitchonomy. It was a um, stitch along that started in February. The only thing is, I want to put a piece of felt on the back, and I don't have any, so I'll have to grab a piece today. But I like the way it came out. It's cute. It's a simple finish, but it's cute. I like that. And then one more. I gotta back up for this one. A little house I got at Walmart for Easter. I just attached a bow with a piece of wire. And then this is attached with a magnet. If I can get it to come off. It's just attached with a magnet. That way I can change it out. However, I don't know how often I'll change it out because I really like this design. Oh, try to get back on our street. Um, so that is it for my FFOs and then haul I didn't have much I may have shown you this week I think I did this is the project quarantine 
Um, this will be a new start sometime during May. I don't know what day though. Yeah, I do remember showing those last week. And then, let's see, I have from Lindy Stitches, Beautiful Things. This is her new one that just came out last week or the week before. And then I also got the floss pack that goes with it with the classic color works. I just need to, need to get the DMC that goes with it and then I'll be done. Um, and I can start that one. So that is all I have for you today. This is a really, really short video. Um, usually I have more this week. I'm just, it is what it is. I didn't do much stitching. I didn't get much of nothing done. Um, we've been having a lot of stuff going on at home. So I'm going to leave this really short and just end it here. Um, I hope y'all have a great stitchy week. Everybody enjoy. Have fun. Happy stitching. I'll see you later.